hi everyone if i ask you what is a protector what is a protector tool then what would you answer cool yes you are thinking right if anybody ask you what is a protector you could simply say protector is a node.js program pretty simple protector is a node.js program so in a, in my previous video i have discussed why do we need protector tool for uh, automation of angular js applications what are the advantages of using protector tool um, for the automation of angular js applications so we'll proceed further and see what exactly protector is so from this statement it's very clear that protector is a node.js program which means if we want to use protector we should have node.js installed in our system in our computer so before installation of node.js we would like to understand what exactly node.js is and why do we need it okay so this is the uh, this is the link from which we can get the step by step tutorial how to download and install node.js and from there we can start um, protector learning protector I would say <coughs> okay let's try to understand what exactly node.js is and then we'll see how we can download and install node.js which is uh, because installation of node.js is the first step for learning protector tool so as we can see here node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's version 8 JavaScript engine. It uses event-driven non-blocking IO model that makes it lightweight and efficient. It's pure technical stuff. <clears throat> Let me try to make it simple. So you can think of Node.js is a kind of environment in your computer system. Uh, you can think of that, okay, Node.js is a kind of environment which provides the execution of JavaScript on the server side. Simple. Uh, you can correlate with uh, like uh, if we say Java programming language, we say, okay, we should have JRE Java runtime involvement so that we can run our Java code. Same way, uh, in order to execute JavaScript, JavaScript on server side, we should have Node.js installed. If we see, uh, if we go into the history of JavaScript, then JavaScript was early, back in early days, JavaScript was used for only client side. I mean, at the browser level, we can use JavaScript, like in the HTML head or body, we, uh, we write some script tags and wherein we can write some JavaScript code. <clears throat> so if we, uh, if we, uh, reload the browser javascript gets run but uh, nowadays javascript is everywhere it's not specific to the client side also at the server side which means uh, we can make an enterprise application with javascript at client side and javascript at, at the server side as well so node.js provides a runtime environment wherein javascript can be run on the server side pretty simple <coughs> now if you want we can go into detail like uh, in any web applications uh, there is some front end and some back end and the front end we can use angular js javascript framework for making the, the components which is visible on the ui and the back end we can use node.js and wherein we can communicate uh, using javascripts so javascript will be at the front end at the back end as well okay now now we know something about java uh, something about node.js okay it's a kind of javascript uh, runtime environment and uh, if this environment is present then javascript can be run on the server side cool now the question comes how to download and install node.js so uh, node.js okay <clears throat> we'll see the npm as well uh, it's their npm it's a node package manager uh, for now just uh, remember the term node npm the full form of npm is uh, node packet manager we'll see what exactly it is okay 
if we go further so node.js is a javascript runtime environment as we discussed many times today the step one is you can go to url uh, it's the official site of node.js node.js.org slash en download and here you will see one windows installer dot msi for file this windows installer so two versions are available 32 bit or 64 bit so depending on your machine system you can download this installer file if you download you will get this this kind of pop-up just you need to save and for me it was at this location uh, you can download this uh, windows installer you can see the type windows installer is there and if you double click on this windows installer you could find this set of wizard you just need to click on run button so uh, now you can see this node.js setup let me show you i mean because let me show you on my system let me go to e drive computer c drive e drive mm -hmm. There should be some node.js protector. Okay, there is one tool protector. Pro, pro, pro protector. Okay. Cool. So this is the setup. If you uh, inst uh, if you download the installer file, you will get this. Uh, just double click on. Just double click on this. So one pop-up will appear. You just need to click on run. So this installer is very simple. I mean, you just need to click on next, 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 and it will install the Node.js in your computer system, and you will be good to go to use protector tool. I'll show you what are the options will come. Uh, while the installation time so you just need to take care of those uh, options mainly there will be uh, one two three three to four options uh, let me click on next and we could see those options okay it's already installed on my system that's why i'm getting this change otherwise you will get install kind of button cool so in the node.js setup you will see uh, these four options node.js runtime npm package manager online documentation shortcuts add to path i would say install all four so what exactly node.js runtime is it's a core node.js runtime which means uh, it is the environment which will be which will allow the javascript to run on the server side now there's an npm package manager npm is node package manager so it will get automatically installed if we install node.js and npm is very important very helpful we'll see further what exactly what are the uh, <clears throat> what are the facilities being provided by npm so i would suggest install npm package manager as well online documentation up to you you may if you want you can else you can skip add to path so uh, generally we have to add the installation to the R system variables but if you click this option add to path then it will add node.js npm and modules globally to the path environment variable we can see from here like add node.js npm and modules that were globally installed by npm to the path environment variable cool awesome it's already installed so i will just click on this cancellation and if you just click on next 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 it will be done so it's pretty simple uh, and it is the first step for the selenium uh, sorry uh, protector automation you need to have you have to have uh, node.js installed on your machine 
and if you just go through this uh, article you could see how at every step node.js is getting installed <laughs> and you can see okay this node.js JS is set up uh, completed the node.js setup wizard so it's a, it was a quick session today uh, where we see uh, the installation steps of node.js what is node.js and i started from the point what is protector and we got to know okay yeah, protector is a node.js program if protector is a node.js program so to run that we need to have node.js environment so that is the reason our first step for learning protector testing tool is to have node.js installed on our system then we'll then we'll see how to uh, install protector tool itself and other steps which were which will be required for the automation purpose now we can conclude today by saying that yeah node.js is a javascript runtime environment we can use install windows installer file to install the node.js and yeah we already discussed protector is a node.js program and to run you need to have node.js installed in your system so these are post views not to worry cool so the so first step is done node.js is installed on your system in our coming videos we'll see uh, how to install protector and we'll discuss more about npm that is the node package manager in detail that's it for now thank you so much